catch her every time she... Hi, you guys. If you can hear that fan in the background, sorry, but it's so hot in here, I cannot turn it off. I will probably die. I am so excited for this video. Today, I'm filming um, a video showing you guys all the clothes I own as a minimalist. Keep in mind, everybody's different. Um, so there's that. I feel like when I first started my minimalism journey i thought that minimalism was having the least amount of things as possible but over the last three years or so that i have been on this journey i realized it's not necessarily about having the least amount of stuff it's just about having what you need and what you would like that has value to you at one point i wanted to have the very least amount of clothes that i could i could possibly have but over the last year or so I've been more lenient on myself and realized that if I'm really enjoying something I don't have to get rid of it okay and I'm just saying that right now because here I'll show you my closet so this is everything that I well I mean I'll have to explain to you guys how I have this set up but I'm pretty sure I have like 19 hangers right here 19 or 20 and these are all the clothes that I have that could be hung up so dresses t-shirts, I don't know, sleep shirts, cute shirts, workout shirts, anything that could be put on a hanger is right here. Originally, this would have been way too much for me because I thought minimalism was, like I said, having the very least amount as possible. I have realized some of this stuff I don't even wear right now because it's way too hot, but I don't want to get rid of it because these things have value to me and I love them and eventually I will need them. So that's something that I've kind of been learning over the last few years as I've been on this grind towards minimalism. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys all my clothes and explain to you guys um, kind of like why I have what I have and their purpose and also give you guys a few tips on how to cut back clothing wise. It's so hot I have to sit back in front of the fan. <laughs> um, I am only making this video about my clothes so if you guys would want to see more um, what I have as a minimalist type video. So let me know down in the comments I was thinking I could show you guys just around my room and show you guys like personal items that I Have and then I was also thinking of showing you guys like beauty slash cosmetic stuff that I own as a minimalist If you guys would be interested in those videos, let me know figured we can make this like a Series or something. I don't know. Yeah, I'm like honestly just stalling right now because I don't want to move away from the fan so I guess I'll just start with what you guys can clearly see right here. First three things in my closet are like my dressier things that I don't wear often at all, but I decided to hold on to these three things in case I have a special event or occasion that I want to go to. So I have like this beautiful dress, a tight dress, and then I also have this like one piece bodysuit that I can dress up or keep casual if I wanted to. In my day-to-day -day routine, I literally just wear t-shirts. So at one point, all I had was t-shirts because that was all I was wearing. And I realized I did need a few more things because there's other situations in life where you can't just wear a t-shirt. Okay, so right next to that, I have three pretty thick, like long sleeve items. This is a pretty thick sweater. And then I have a jacket and then I have a hoodie. It does get chilly in San Diego, especially at night. Usually I do wear these things pretty often, um, but they all have a different like purpose. I like them all and they're all super comfy and cute. So I have those three warmer things. Actually, I'm gonna group this stuff so that way you guys can see it a little bit easier because right now I keep all my things color coordinated but I'm gonna put them into groups and then show you guys what each thing or what each category is. Okay, I literally have two categories. <laughs> this first category is mainly just t-shirts or my more like casual things which pretty much is just t-shirts. So I have one long sleeve t-shirt, a few like crop t-shirts and then a few like full length t-shirts and then I also have this cropped like sweater thing but this is pretty casual for me so I kept it in the casual pile but total here I have one two seven more casual items plus I would consider the shirt that I have on today as one of those casual pieces and it's just a long sleeve like polo striped t-shirt this next category is my like cuter tops that I might wear if I'm going out I don't know 
somewhere that I want to look cute. So I have a cuter sweater. This one is really soft. A tube top, a tank top, and then a long sleeved crop top. So that is it for the hang up items. I'll tell you guys about that stuff in a minute. And then just on the back of this hanger, I have one single belt that I sometimes wear with jeans just to like dress up um, an outfit. And then I have three bags on here. This is like a purse. And then I have two reusable bags. In my day-to-day -day routine, I use these two bags more as purses than I use my actual purse. That's all of that. Now, you guys are probably wondering what the heck this stuff is. These three shirts are shirts that I'm torn between. I like to keep this bulk under 20 hangers. That makes me feel good. It makes me feel organized. It's still a decent amount of stuff that I have variety um, for different seasons and for different occasions, but it doesn't feel like too much stuff. So what I do whenever I'm feeling like I have too much stuff or I want to get rid of stuff, I just throw a few things over to this little side of my closet and I keep them there for a while and determine whether or not I genuinely miss wearing them because I won't wear these if they're on this side. And if I don't miss them, then I get rid of them. But if I do miss them and I find myself reaching for them, then I know that I should probably keep it. Then up on top in these two little bins are closed. That little bin over there, that's crystals. These two are what I'm showing you. So in here I have bottoms that I wear out. So I have a pair of leggings in here, a pair of jean shorts, three pairs of jeans, all different colors. And then I have one skirt, which I literally never wear this. I've literally been thinking about getting rid of this skirt for so long because last time I wore it was, I think to Coachella, which was in April. I think I'm gonna put this, um, next to those shirts so that way I can determine if I really want to keep it. I also keep my biker shorts in that little bin because I do wear my biker shorts out in public. But in this bin, this is like stuff. This is other stuff. I have two pairs of like comfy shorts in here, but they're in this bin because these are mainly just for sleep. They're way too short to wear out. And then I have a pair of sweatpants. I literally wear these sweatpants everywhere, but I just like them in this bin. And then the rest of my stuff I have in this little bag, I just keep my underwear in here and that just helps me to be organized. And then I have a few pairs of socks. I have two sports bras and one regular bra. And then I also keep my bathing suits in here. For the most part, my bathing suits are usually in here, but I have a few in my bathroom right now just drying. Let me see. I think I had two bathing suits in that bin and then I have two more bathing suits right here. And then I have one bathing suit in my car just in case of an emergency and I end up at the beach and I need a bathing suit, I have one. So yeah, that's all of my clothes. Now I'm gonna just show you guys my shoes. So I have a pair of sandals right there, black pair of sandals. Then I have two pairs of like heeled boot type of things. These ones are really cute, they have like this mesh see-through. I like to wear these with jeans. And then these ones I wear way more often because they feel more comfy and casual. And then I have these super chunky white sneakers. These were actually my little sister. She gave them to me. Um, I don't wear these a lot, but I really like them for like fun events. Like when I went to Coachella, I wore them. So I'll hold on to them because they don't really, I don't have that many shoes anyway. So it's not like they're taking up so, so much space. Like, I mean. And then by the front door, um, I just have a pair of black Converse and in my car, I have a pair of brown sandals and black Vans. So those are all the shoes I own and it, now that I'm like pointing them all out, it seems like a lot. So technically that's all my clothes. I do also own one beanie. So I guess those are like clothes and accessories. I showed you my belt. So clothes and accessories check i honestly feel like i have so much stuff and i don't even want to post this video because i feel like people are going to be like you're not even a you're not even a minimalist look how much stuff you have but to me maybe i just sound crazy i know i don't have that much stuff when i first started um my minimalism journey i literally probably had over 20 times the amount of stuff that i had and i'm not saying that to be like uh, I had so much stuff because clearly I don't care about having a lot of stuff um, But my point is just to like document my progress just a few tips Like I told you guys if you're indecisive about some items keep them to the side You don't have to get rid of things right away And also what I would recommend if you just are starting your journey towards minimalism and you want to Cut back clothing wise right now. I'm talking specifically about clothes go through your closet and to make groups of things that you wear a lot 
things that you wear sometimes and things that you literally have not worn in forever. Obviously the things that you haven't worn in forever, um, seeing that pile of things, it might be easier for you to get rid of them. And then the things that you wear sometimes but not too much, they could be um, like those maybe get rid of but you don't know yet. And just hold on to them, see if you still love them in a few months or a few weeks, see if they do get used. Maybe challenge yourself to get rid of one or two items a month or every two months, I don't know. Whatever works for you, go at your own pace. I showed you guys the three shirts that I have pushed off to the side of my closet, um, the ones that I'm indecisive on. But down in here, I keep this bag kind of like hidden underneath my clothes on top of those boxes. And this is stuff that I am getting rid of. These are things that I know for sure that I don't want, but just kind of as reassurance to myself, um, I keep them in here for a minute, go over them, and then eventually I get rid of them. Same thing with those shoes. I'm getting rid of them, but they won't fit in that bag. I think keeping items out of plain sight, like in a bag like that, really does help with getting rid of them because if you don't see it, your brain literally forgets that you have it pretty much and you don't really reach for it or miss it because you can't see it. So if you are struggling with getting rid of something, I recommend um, putting them in a bag and tucking that bag away and not thinking about it. I've noticed um, since I've been striving towards being a minimalist, I have felt so much lighter not in the sense of like weight wise, but just even mentally, I don't feel as clouded because I'm not spending as much time going through clothes or picking out an outfit or stressing about what I'm gonna wear because literally everything that I own, I love. So I know I'm gonna feel comfortable wearing and I know I'm gonna feel good wearing it because I literally love everything that I have. Maybe some people don't really consider this, but owning a lot of physical items, I think, personally, I think that it could essentially hold you back in some opportunities in life. For example, um, when I packed up and moved here to California, it's really easy for me because literally everything that I owned fit in my car. But if I had more stuff, it probably would have been a harder process. Um, probably would have taken me longer. I probably would have had to plan it better. And just because I personally am a very spontaneous person, having a minimal, a minimalist, lifestyle fits my personality best obviously that was just one example me moving across the country um it was just one example of how minimalism can be helpful but there's many many ways anyways i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you're not already like i said let me know down in the comments if you guys want to see more videos related to minimalism but yeah um i hope you guys have a great day and i'll talk to you later bye